evening to you. I'm Susan Hirasuna. A luxurious seven-bedroom dream house in the Hollywood Hills. But there's a catch. Squatters. Y'all, I got an unpopular opinion, okay? This is for the women. Yeah, I don't think it's kind of endearing how, like, nice men are to each other. We're talking 20, 25 percent top. Like, think about it, okay? Because I've, I've noticed, like, in comments and stuff like that, when guys are being nice to each other, women are always calling them gay. Like, oh, you're always at your bro house. You're so gay. Like, you guys are so close. You guys must be gay. Let me find out. My That's my brother. My man is gay. And you guys want to know what I think it is? I think we be hating. It is what it is. It is. Because our friendships are not as solid as men's friendships. Okay? I'm t I think we be hating, okay? Because I'm not going to lie, like... Watching how I got eight brothers. Watching how my brothers interact with their friends and men don't treat their friends how y'all how women treat our friends. Not me personally, because I'm a good friend, but just from experience, I've had friends body shame me. I've had friends tear me down. Forget about all the people. Make jokes about me to my face about my parents. Ask me about how much money I make just so they can judge how much money I make and tell me they make more than me. I hang around females all the time, y'all, that I love genuinely, but I know are not good friends. I know be jealous of me, envious of me. That's all they do. You know, all types of stuff. We got to stop calling men gay because they have solid bonds and solid friendships, y'all. Because I've been searching my whole life for some solid friends and some solid bonds that are secure in themselves. And I just want to hang out and kick it, you know, and be positive vibes in each other's lives you know we gotta stop hating on these men and we gotta we gotta follow suit hey you know what it is man you know us men we tend to stick to our day ones like coffee and whiskey for instance me and him been friends for going on damn near 20 years bro and during that 20 years he ain't never did no fuck shit and i ain't never did no fuck shit i trust him he trusts me like i know his kids he know my kids Everything like that. We've been through thick and thin together. We've been through some real life situations with each other, bro. I'm talking about life and death shit down there. You get what I'm saying? And that builds a real bond. It's not superficial shit. Another thing is this. Most of us don't character degrade one another. If we're on bad terms, we won't talk bad about each other because that's a feminine trait. That's a feminine characteristic and quality. Another thing we won't do is this. We know how to take constructive criticism. If my dude asks me how this fit looks, I'm gonna tell him if it's fire or if it's not. You really can't do that with women because a woman will say, nah, she hating. A woman will get in her feelings. A woman will think you're trying to uh, single out things about her. You get what I'm saying? And that's one of the things that just keep us going. And then another thing is this, we're just easy to, we go along to get along, bro. You know, it's, it's we're so simple minded. Just a, a, a basketball game or a football game, and that's all we need. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We can play the game. We can go do shoot pool. It's just simple things that we do, and that's why we have longer-lasting bonds than y'all do. Straight up. You know, another thing I would say is this. We're not so easy to become friends with. We really, really, really make sure that you are who you say you are before we call you our friend. To you. I'm Susan Hirasuna. A luxurious seven-bedroom dream house in the Hollywood Hills. But there's a catch. Squatters. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. They've left behind a huge mess and even set up a business on the property. Fox 11's Chelsea Edwards is live in Hollywood. Chelsea, tell us more. Get this. So the ringleader actually allegedly drew up a fake lease. I was running a game on you. I wanted to get the money and was allowing OnlyFans models to create their content in this house. They apparently threw wild parties and just really made themselves at home in this 9,000 square foot property. <laughs> and this is unfortunately something that real estate agents are seeing more and more of. This is so this wasn't what real estate agent Emily Randall Smith was expecting when she and her husband checked in on one of their listings in the Hollywood Hills. There was like poop and pee everywhere. They had rearranged, they had cut all the cords to like all of the security systems. They bought a new Wi-Fi. Like they were planning to sit there and move there basically. We're gonna get rid of this stuff. Let's put it all here. It happened in January when the husband and wife team were getting ready to prep the seven bedroom home for an open house. We walked up to the property and the lockbox was cut off and I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. And there was a, a mailbox that somebody had ordered and they like put it up. And I was like, that's also very weird. That was not here before. I said, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. 
husband walked to the side of the house and they had these huge windows and he could see somebody laying on the bed in the rooms. They quickly called police who couldn't get the man out of the home. So the pair waited until he left, then called police again. They knocked on the front door and I guess some girl opened it in the video that I posted. She ended up being an OnlyFans model and I guess that the Jesus Christ. guy who had broke into the house was like running this whole business out of there and like renting the rooms out to these girls. Smith gives major credit to the LAPD who escorted the woman, her dog and everyone's belongings out. The Smiths left with a mess to clean up. I told you it's sold TV. Thanks for giving me another bike lock, bro. I'm gonna take this one off. Place it, you jerk. It was really scary just feeling like somebody had intruded your house. Obviously, it's just a property that we're selling, but we feel responsible for it. And it's just a really eerie feeling to feel that somebody like went into your property and tried to live there and make it their home. And apparently it had been going on for about two weeks. Now, no one was arrested that night back in January, but Smith is saying she really hopes that the person behind all of this eventually gets caught. She also has some words of advice for anyone who does have an unoccupied property. Make sure that the keys, uh, the locks, the security system and the cameras are all working and have somebody to be able to check in at least regularly. Reporting live in Hollywood, I'm Chelsea Edwards. Susan, I'll send it back to you. Some timely and good advice, Chelsea. Thank you. Say, man, squatters rights is a joke, dog. That's some shit that people who were known to steal shit had to come up with, bro. Like, think about people who came to this country and basically displaced all of the Native Americans. That sounds like the type of people who invent these outlandish type of laws, squatters' rights, because technically that's what you did. You squatted on them people's land. Check this out. Who in the hell, which one of y'all is paying for her OnlyFans, bro? Bro, I did not see, even though they blurred her face out, I ain't see nobody with no figure that would make me want to fuck up some cash to watch her do some spicy explicit content i don't see nothing like that bro this is crazy another thing is this i want to say when you rich man you got power bro because if this was a regular house they would have had to go to court to get these people out man but when it's rich people who can make a phone call and get shit done you know what i'm saying they're gonna they're gonna handle their business bro it's, it's, it's just it's unfair it is what it is though but this is trash man this is trash Reckless responses from the internet. Move your hand. I need some. Move your hand. The real ones know what that means, but this brother didn't. He said, I never had to move someone's hand. What'd that mean? Another dumbass. The young lady responded and said, You ain't got no dangling, dangling. You just got dangling. Small, small gap. Sorry for your loss, brother. Because when a woman puts that hand on your chest or does the hand tap on your chest, of course, all with consent though, you feel like the man. Do y'all know what that move your hand means? Fellas, when's the last time you gave her some move your hand? You're a good boy. And ladies, when's the last time you received some move your hand? If y'all have any more reckless responses or y'all see any reckless responses on the internet, tag me in them or send them to my DM. Say, bro, you really only gonna experience that moving your hand shit when you're about to hit the factory reset button. And what is the factory reset button? The factory reset button is basically the cuckoo clock. It's the tuning of the cuckoo clock. When you drop it like you're supposed to, women uh, fall in love with you when you do it to them real good. It's really that simple, bro. Women can sleep with a lot of dudes, man, but the one that gives it to the best is Old Faithful. He gonna always be able to have that. Even if her husband is not giving it to her good. She could be with that man for 10 years, man. The Old Faithful ring her line, bro. It's a wrap. He gone. She gone. Real talk. It is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Once you once she put up that glit that once she put up that gate and try to block you, that's a wrap, bro. She know what it is. She knows she one stroke away from being uh Looney Tunes about you. I got shame for door dashing. You were a door dasher? Yeah, from time to time, yes. Yes, f yeah. F yeah, why not? I do every hustle I can. Thank you, my money. Look at this. <laughs> that's from door dashing? No, this from something else. Oh. But that's the point. You shouldn't be shaming nobody for what they do to get no motherfucking money and take care of their home. So what options you got? However they motherfucking do it. It ain't no such. I know motherfuckers who door dashing right now who make four, five hundred a day. They 
I ain't never had that ever happen to me. They out there all day long, and they take care of their motherfucking household. Does anybody but you recognize know we, you? Uh, Say, bro, real talk. Just last week, I was in Walmart, bro. It was like 9.50, bro. They closed at 10. Yeah, down bad as fuck for doing that. But anyway, long story short, they had like only two or three lines open, and it was a long line. So while I'm in line, this lady behind me starts talking to me. She with her husband and everything like that. So really, we all talking. And uh, she started talking about like DoorDash and Uber Eats, one of the two. And she showed me like what she makes on a daily basis, bro. It was three hundred to six hundred dollars sometimes. And I said, "Damn, they doing this Uber eating, door dashing." She was like, "Man, I don't go home until they tell me I can't drive no more." See, that's that hustle that required to get somewhere. I asked, I said, "Why you working so hard?" She was like, "Well, me and my husband want to buy a second property." I said, "Man, see, I love that, bro. I love that shit, man. A woman that's grinding and her husband grinding too, so they can get a second property, bro. That really made my night, bro." That really made my night. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro, because you hear about the you hear about a bunch of bullshit these days. So when you get a positive story like that, it warmed my heart, bro. You post me, man. Let me see what the comments are talking about, girl. You must be set for life with him. You gotta embrace. You are, baby. Girl, that man must be Dave Chappelle funny. I do be cracking jokes. He must be the embodiment of chivalry. I feel bad, Vern. It ain't dead. <laughs> oh, your auntie commented. Please call your mama ASAP. She is not happy. Oh, she could have just texted you that. Oh, your pastor commented. While man looks at the outward appearance and God looks at the heart, we must still be wise in our decisions and choices. I am praying for you. <laughs> Amen. Your best friend commented. Girl, I cannot breathe. I'm on the way to your house right now. Oh, this dude to have five people. He said, my brothers in Christ, this is a perfect example of why you cannot be distracted. Gone are the times where women value looks over achievement. You can accomplish anything you put your mind to. Come on, bro. Yeah, brother, you might as well stick a fork in yourself because you're done, bro. You're cooked. Real talk, man. You might as well take your ball and go home because this woman does not truly find you attractive nor desirable, and she would much rather be with someone else. And in this case, she's definitely, in her mind at least, feels like you settling feels like she's settling and then her friends ain't making it no better right so this is a woman that you're constantly going to be on edge about and you're definitely going to be uh uneasy every time she leave the house you're gonna think she's with the guy she really wants to be with <laughs> this is a losing situation you can't win in a situation like this bro go find the girl that likes you bro straight up if you and your partner walk into a place and he sees someone he messed with do you expect him to tell you absolutely of course if you don't tell the person, mm -hmm. your dynamic between that person, right? That person is never gonna really know, right? Anytime you're hiding something. So let's say you don't tell the person and you and that person are like super friendly and, and it's like, it's like, wow, like, right? But that person thinks you guys never f They're seeing that like, oh my God, this is just your good friend. What do you mean? But if they know you f so now they're seeing this like, oh, maybe you have feelings for the person. What is you doing to make it better? In the scenario where he doesn't tell, and no one ever finds out. Isn't that the best scenario though? Like no, nothing ever happens. No. No. It's still better to just have have it out there. Just have just have the truth out there. Yeah. When you're in that situation, you ask this: If I don't tell my partner, they know everything about us. Would they be mad? That of course. Question is going to be different for everybody. But if your answer is yes, you know your partner would not like the fact that you're standing in front of and they don't know about it. Now, why does he need to tell you so you can start acting crazy and doing dumb shit out the blue and making small talk with the person? Like, come on, man. They don't make no damn sense. And let's be real, man. If he keeps it pushing, then what's the point? Real talk. Like, if such person is here and y'all are over there in a total opposite corner of the room, then what's the need? for him to tell you that. It doesn't have any bearings on y'all experience and the night y'all are gonna have, right? That's how I look at it, bro. Like, do you really wanna be told that there's a man, as a man that is, there's a man that used to be tapping your girl. Do you wanna know that? Especially if your girl didn't even acknowledge this nigga, he didn't acknowledge her. But she, let's say she caught him out the corner of the eye. Oh, babe, by the way, even though I didn't even speak to this guy, I just wanna let you know I used to fuck him. Like, how would that make you, like, bro, some things just ain't got to be said, bro. Especially if she ain't hitting a nigga no more. All right, so it's perfectly normal to feel a little loopy, okay? Ah! Finally, I can breathe. Ew, babe. You look cute. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, baby. But not better than your friend. Suspicious. Very suspicious. Your friend who be having on them gray basketball shorts be swinging. I be like, yo, shawty with the gray shorts. 
<laughs> she crazy. She said the nigga feel loopy. Yeah, loopy, yeah. your friend. Fine. I wish I would have got with your friend before I got with you because you the ugly friend and I didn't even know it. It's wild. <laughs> but it's all good in a hood because I don't even care. I'm going to use all your money and spend it. Girl, <laughs> Doc. Yeah, we'll use it like five or ten minutes or something like that. Thank hey, you. Right, team. Yeah. Talking about. Uh, uh, we're about to leave. Don't look at my phone. I be texting. Hey man, I heard that this is a real occurrence, man. Like people be having those heart to heart moments when they be under the influence. Whenever they get that local anesthesia or whatever they call it, uh, the deep darkest secrets start to come out at that point in time. So fellas or ladies, if your significant other about to go through something like this, man, you might not want to be in the room, or you might want to be in the room. Depends on how you look at life. Are you the glass half full person or the glass half empty person? right <laughs> you get what i'm saying so uh do what you will with this information but i heard this is a real thing and by the way this is a skit i just thought it was funny because I... for the women who think they out here finessing these men i've never known a man who is smart enough to make a whole bunch of money but too dumb to know when a woman is using him for money though. what's it feel like a man knows when he's being used and he's okay with being used why because he's using you too that's horrible. He's getting exactly what he wants, baby, your body. And your body is way more valuable than his paper, but you're the one treating it like it's a fair trade. And then you'll call him a trick, but who's the trick? When he gets to go out tomorrow and get some new money? Wait, that's my hand! While you're still stuck with that same old ran through. Hey, man, and that's the thing I be trying to preach, dog. Just because the dude gave you three, four, five hundred dollars, even a thousand, let's say even ten thousand, right? If he is someone of means and he got it like that that means everything to you but absolutely nothing to him and guess what a lot of red pill guys will definitely say that's simple but to him he might look at it like my time is more valuable than courting this woman and taking her out just to get the same thing anyway so i might as well just drop the bag on her blow her mind have her thinking she's special and send her home with a wet ass and ten thousand dollars to them is really like a dollar to us though they got dudes out here that got that type of money and like if they see a bad instagram model They'll knock her off, give her the 10 bags, and she feel like she winning. I mean, she he doesn't feel like he's losing. And to be truthfully honest, the woman is losing in every point in power because she got to deal with the fact that she's been relegated down to the lowest form of herself, which is basically a worker. Yeah. <clears throat> what does that look like? What does the Instagram yeah. man look like? Mm. Big like, up project? Not, okay, so I'm <laughs> okay. I know, I know. I'm I'm please, 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 okay. Okay. What's the Instagram man? So I think it takes a certain secure and confident man to date a woman when their woman star is shining a little bit brighter. You think so? Um, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And yes. unfortunately, I ran into that in my past relationship. Mm. My career started to soar within food. I saw a change in our relationship. Mm. Mm. Seriously. Wow. And that was like the downfall. Like I stopped sharing things with him. I got you. Uh, sucks for you. Definitely and like happening. even like great things. And I was like, never mind. All right, so here's the thing, right? I can't totally say she's in the wrong, but I can't say that she's telling the whole truth either, right? Because here's the thing. A lot of times, and this is just not a gender specific thing. This is both genders. When people are telling you what they have accomplished recently, it can almost come off as bragging, even though they come in from a genuine place with it. They're hoping that you're excited for them that they have accomplished something. But a lot of times when people don't feel like they have anything going on in their life, they could take it as you're trying to throw it in their face, even though that's not the case. It's all about uh, perception, right? So you actually have to learn a skill. It's two skills, really. And you can pick which one you want to learn. Learn how to keep your wins to yourself or learn how to say them in such a way that it doesn't rub people the wrong way, which is a thin line to walk across, bro. I'm not going to hold you because I've seen it in my own personal life from friends and family, right? You tell them that you're doing something and you can sense the energy shift. And, you know, in a relationship, when a man has a woman who's basically soaring to the moon and he doesn't feel like he's doing anything, I could see how they could put a strain on the relationship. So you always got to consider that.